everyone, it's Reagan, and welcome to the start of another reading vlog. My hair ribbon is very aggressive. Um, it's still Christmas in my household because that is how I choose to live my life. But I wanted to do a reading vlog this weekend because I feel like I'm gonna hopefully get a lot of good reading in. It's a opposite of a busy weekend. Essentially, Clay has to work a bunch, um, so I'm just kind of like straight chilling, and I'm Honestly, so tired. I w went back to work this week from my like holiday vacation and I had two days at the office and by end of day Friday, I was like, man, this is terrible. <laughs> so this weekend, I need to recover from those two hard long days at work, clearly being dramatic, but my sentiment of wanting to have a chill weekend is the reality though. And because Clay has to do a lot of work this weekend, I've decided to have a very like relaxing, um, kind of a weekend where I can kind of regroup, you know, put a lot of face masks on and just kind of chill. So, um, that being said, let's talk about the books I hope to read. So my first plan is to finish Daisy Jones and the Six. I started this audiobook during my 24 hours of reading and I've since also been listening to it during the work day as well in my commute. I'm obsessed with this audiobook right now. It is incredible. Um, it's just so captivating and the acting is just so exceptional. I read about 85 pages of this today between commuting and you know at lunch during the office. And then, so I think I have about 65 pages of this left for total 150. I'm planning on finishing this tonight, no problem. In fact, right after I film this clip, I'm basically gonna run a bath and uh, listen to this audiobook and finish it up. From there, I really want to start The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern. This book has just been honestly calling out to me. I know it's beautiful and lyrical, and it just sounds like, like exactly what I feel like reading. So this will be the book I pick up um, tonight as well. So those are my rough reading plans. I mean, hopefully I can finish The Starless Sea. I obviously plan to finish this. Um, but we'll see. So if the third book might be involved in this reading vlog as well, but TBD on that. I actually just got home from work and I need to put my groceries away because part of, you know, I, I just felt like making like a nice, healthy at home dinner tonight, no, no takeout. Of course, I'm pulling out some instant ramen, but I'm making a uh, Instapot ramen recipe. My mom got me an Instapot for Christmas and it's so much fun. I love cooking with it. So I found a good half baked harvest recipe for ramen that I'm really excited about and so I'm gonna make it. Um, it's like, honestly, it's like a Thai curry ramen noodle type thing. It just looked really good. So I picked up a bunch of stuff for that and I'm gonna make it with tofu. It's gonna be really tasty. So that's what I'm gonna make for dinner, but I'm first going to get into pajamas, run a bath, and finish Daisy Jones. So much is happening. I only have like four audiobook chapters left, but they're all really short. Like one, the middle chapter was three hours long. And it's a 14 hour audiobook, so, you know, to give you perspective of how long they are. But anyway, I'm rambling, I'm doing so many things. Welcome to the reading vlog. My plan is to basically be a vegetable this weekend and eat a lot of spicy soup and watch football and read, so. Enjoy and maybe take down my Christmas wreath because it's, you know, January. So we'll see though. All right, first agenda item of the evening is I have my bath bomb and bubble bar and I'm gonna take a really nice bath and I'm gonna try to finish the Daisy Jones audiobook. I don't think I have too much time left as I've said. Hopefully this, I feel like the beginning of this vlog is super scattered and I apologize, but I'm sure I'll get on track. But. This evening is basically one of relaxation, okay? <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, have a nice bath, listen to a good book, make some tasty ramen, probably watch some Top Chef, and read. So that is, that's what, that's what's gonna be the haps. But I'm gonna start this bath, and then Matilda is gonna hang out in there, and it's gonna be a great time. So, time to get started. It's pink, everyone. Oh yeah. Hi everyone, so I finished my really nice bath and I also finished my audiobook of Daisy Jones and the Six, which also meant I sat in the bath for a while and, and maybe cried a little bit. <laughs> um, Daisy Jones and the Six, I ended up really liking it. I feel very strongly that I don't know if I would have liked it as much if I didn't listen to the audiobook. As a story, it was actually really interesting. And if you're not familiar, Daisy Jones and the Six is basically this fake 
autobiographical story about Daisy Jones and the Six, which was like a very fiction, it's fictional, but a very famous rock band in the 70s. And there's basically this and it's just a series of interviews of all the bandmates and people close and around the band as well and essentially they have this huge hit album that's like top album of the year and then they break up and this is known at the beginning um that they eventually break up and this book kind of is trying to dive into like why how who where how they come together why do they fall apart kind of thing as a story going in i thought it was going to be mostly about daisy jones who is this like muse of a woman you know, this effervescent, effortless, beautiful female character, which in a lot of ways it is, but it's a lot about a lot of other characters too. And my favorite parts about this book actually were about the other characters, like Karen and Camilla specifically, I loved a lot. I found them to be very tangible. I found them to be very real. And as like women as well, I just found them to be just like astoundingly strong and stood up for themselves and what they believed in. And especially in a time where that wasn't as easy um don't get me wrong daisy jones was a very fascinating human being and learning about everyone else in the band was really fascinating there's this part of this book too that there's this element of the characters that daisy and the other main character um of the six billy have this sort of thing that they're just like drawn to each other but they hate each other but they're drawn to each other and there's a lot of complications because of this like I think the author was inspired by the Civil Wars and Fleetwood Mac as well, taken from like an inspiration perspective. So if you're familiar with them, that kind of gives some context. Anyway, it was a really interesting story. I loved the full cast of the audiobook. It made me just feel like I was like listening in on this really personal interview. And I think because it was full cast, they could really provide a lot of, well, truth be told, like subtlety to the words because everything is up to interpretation, right? Like given that it's an interview style like if you just kind of read it you could really interpret how the tone of voice was uh, however you want but given the decisions that a lot of these voice actors made I really feel like it provided a lot of like depth to the story and just really made it a, such a compelling audiobook and novel as well I'm still kind of unpacking all of my feelings I was talking to Monica about this Daisy Jones as a character I found to be so frustrating like she is like my least favorite kind of person she's selfish she is like a chaos whirlwind she's the kind of person who is powerful in that like she will only do what daisy jones wants which is can be inspiring you know what i mean like she stands up for what she believes in for herself but she's reckless in the way that like she doesn't really care if whatever she decides is right for her or what her decisions are um impacts anyone else around her and this is of course do it a lot of variables because Daisy Jones was very unstable during a large portion of this book and she admits that because it's retro it's like reflective um and she's also always late to everything I hate late people <laughs> but I also love Daisy Jones and Billy similar I just wanted to slap them both and just give Camilla and Karen a hug and hang out with them but uh I don't I'm not ready to give a star rating yet I need to sit with it for a little bit longer but I did really like it I was absorbed in an audiobook like I've never been before and I'm definitely going to read, start listening to more audiobooks with higher frequency. Because um, it's so nice also to listen to an audiobook on the train and when I'm doing like monotonous tasks at work. It was just so good. I feel like I've been just talking at this camera for so long. Uh, but I wanted to say, hey, I finished it. I've also read, listened to 150 pages. So I'm off to a really good start. I think I'm going to make a cup of coffee now and watch an episode of Top Chef. And then I'm going to start dinner. But I just wanted to say, hi. I finished Daisy Joe. Coffee. The rest is history. This thing has a Shop. Top chef. You have something that needs to be precise, like yeah. All right, so here's all the ingredients for this ramen soup I'm about to make. Again, I'm using this recipe from Half Baked Harvest. Looks really good. I'm making a few changes. I basically just picked the vegetables I wanted to put in it. So I'm doing mushrooms, broccoli, and carrots. I'm also swapping chicken out for tofu because I honestly prefer tofu in any scenario. Um, instead of chicken, I just love tofu. And then here's all my stuff. So it's like a lot of ingredients, but it's super easy. I'm just gonna throw everything in this Instant Pot, cook it. And then I bought um, Instant Ramen for the noodles because I couldn't find like any type of packaged noodles except this. I'm gonna buy some online, uh, but for now this will be my noodles. So that is 
everything. So first I need to like cut up all my vegetables and such. So I'm gonna get started on that. So this recipe is so easy. I'm just dumping everything <laughs> into the pot of my Instant Pot. I have like peanut butter, curry base, coconut milk, chicken broth, soy sauce, honey. I just chopped all my mushrooms, broccoli. I'm gonna chop up my tofu. I'm gonna throw it all in here, mix her up, and cook it for 10 minutes and then it's done. All right, this contraption is on. I move my little knobby knob to ceiling so it doesn't explode. I reread the instructions over and over again because I'm terrified of this exploding. And then I literally just press pressure cook into 10 minutes and then we're off. All right, my work is done. It's on. It's basically pressurizing and then it'll count down from 10 and when that's, when that's that, it'll be all cooked. I went ahead and cut up some scallions and some cilantro and some lime wedges put on top. When it's done, I'm gonna throw in my ramen noodles um to just quickly cook in like the boiling soupy soup and then dinner is served i'm actually really excited i've never made this before but i'm really into this instapot so i'm trying and it's so easy which is why i love it like it's also like an easy clean i didn't use this feature this time but you can saute in this too which is awesome so like unlike a crock pot you can't really saute so you can like saute get the color on things you want and then cook it instantly anyway this is turning into an instapot ad i'm gonna go sit on the couch and watch top chef now and now is my favorite scariest part it's where you release all the steam it's wild and here is the broth it looks pretty good everything is still intact i switched it to saute really fast just to quickly cook these noodles in there um i don't i only think it needs like a few minutes so those are gonna cook and then i'm gonna eat it and bon appetit i think the only change i would make is i wouldn't pressure cook the broccoli because i like my broccoli to not be so cooked but you know lesson for next time i'm gonna go eat this because i'm so hungry hi everyone so i finished dinner i was actually very pleased with it so i'm gonna have it for lunch for the next couple of days uh, but i've decided to come into the bedroom and actually start reading um the starless sea which is so beautiful i've never seen this book without its dust jacket and I am pleasantly surprised. So I'm gonna sit down and start this book. Clay's actually on his way home from work. So I wanted to get some reading in now before he got here so we could watch some of the Americans when he arrived home. But I have to say tonight has been so pleasant. I had like such a nice relaxing evening and I finished my audiobook. I've gotten some good reading in. I cooked myself a dinner, which just feels satisfying. Um, I honestly hate ordering takeout most of the time because I just feel like I could have just cooked something at home um so I'm glad I cooked at home <laughs> and uh, I'm really excited to start the starless sea um and I hope it's just flowery and beautiful and all of that so I'm gonna get started on this now and I'll keep you guys updated as I go along but uh it's time to read hey clay show the internet what you bought on the internet wait you're moving too fast you're zoomed in oh Hold on. Baby Yoda doo -doo 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 -doo. Wait, I can't baby. focus. There you go. It's a it's baby Yoda hat. <laughs> My little baby Yoda right here. Millie mm -hmm. is baby Yoda. She's real baby life baby. Yoda doo -doo 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 -doo, baby Yoda doo -doo 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 -doo. I've read 25 pages of this, but now we're gonna watch The Americans. But 175 pages read for Friday, I'd say it's pretty dang solid. This has already really interested me, so I'm going to definitely read more tomorrow morning. Good morning world. I'm here with a cup of coffee because Clay and I decided to treat ourselves to purchase coffee this morning and it is noon. <laughs> I woke up an hour ago. I got 11 hours of sleep last night and I'm feeling honestly equal parts refreshed and groggy. Getting out of bed, getting my life together this morning has felt difficult it's also super rainy outside you can't really tell but it's just like like a mist rain you can't even really see out the window which is kind of great very relaxing um kind of the perfect day to sit around and do nothing i don't really have that many grand plans for today clay actually doesn't is gonna work from home today which is amazing um we have dinner plans at about seven and other than that i'm just gonna hang around on the couch I have like videos and things I want to film and maybe shoot some Instagrams, but because of the raininess, I might not film until tomorrow, which could be a terrible plan because I might not be able to get it all done, but maybe I'll film a video today. I don't know. Everything just seems impossible in my current state of being. 
pre-coffee and 11 hours of sleep later. Clearly I needed that sleep. I honestly feel like I'm gonna feel amazing in a couple hours. Um, honestly, there's really nothing going on today except reading. I read 25 pages of The Starless Sea last night, so I'm gonna read a bit more this afternoon and I think Clay and I are just gonna hang out and, you know, be chill. Be chill people. Here he comes. Isn't that right, Clay? We're just gonna be chill people. Ice cold. Anyway, he's now left to go play <laughs> video games. I think I'm going to watch some TV, maybe some Bravo this morning. I want to do some editing and then I'm going to do some reading and then I'm going to get dressed. <laughs> I was like, I feel like I'm at a record of how long I've been in PJs today. <laughs> anyway, wanted to say good morning um, and that I have been like 50% a human and um, hi. Guess who got dressed? Me. I actually really like my, I actually really like my outfit. I'm just wearing this Cezanne sweater I bought in London, some J. Crew jeans, and then like a little hair ribbon. But I was watching Top Chef, which is now paused, um, because I was watching it and they're making homemade sourdough bread. So that means I had to go pick up some sourdough bread. Uh, so I'm gonna eat that now and continue to watch Top Chef and then start reading soon. Truly living my best life. Nothing is better than a fresh baguette. Also, I've been on a Top Chef rewatch that has been so deadly. It's all I've been watching. I'm on season 11. I can't stop everyone. Hi everyone. I have had the laziest day ever aside from going and buying a baguette. I have not left the couch. Granted, I haven't even been awake that long because I slept till, you know, past 11 a.m. <laughs> Which honestly, I feel so well rested. That's not gonna stop me from having a second cup of coffee right now, but. <laughs> I am about to, um, I finally turned off Top Chef. I cannot stop watching it. I've, I, I've always been a huge fan of Top Chef. I've seen every season, but I've actually never rewatched any. So this rewatch I'm doing, dangerous stuff. But I'm about to put pregame football on um, and make a cup of coffee, which basically means I'm gonna start reading finally for the day. Um, it's so gloomy outside. Matilda is here. We're just kind of hanging out. We Clay and I do have a dinner reservation. I think it's seven in the west village so we will need to leave here at about at around like six six well six thirty um to go eat some delicious dinner it's at this like really old school italian place so we're excited i'm glad all i've eaten today is a baguette because it's just going to be one of those carb heavy days if you know what i mean but um i'm trying to find this pre-game football and then i'm going to get reading been reading the starless sea which i'll have an update for you guys soon but long story short is i'm really liking it this is a writing style that just speaks to me in my soul also we have nfl playoffs on and we're enjoying our last day with our christmas tree and last but not least coffee all of our favorite things at once isn't that right clay that is right my favorite thing you millie most importantly a tv <laughs> Here's my girl, but we are actually about to head off for dinner. I'm wearing the exact same thing I've been wearing all day. Let's put on a coat and some boots, but uh, we're literally heading into the city to eat a bunch of Italian food. Then we're gonna come home and do everything we've already been doing, which is just sitting on the couch. Hey. Yum. Yum. Gnocchi and bolognese. It's a classic, delicious Italian food. Just like that, we're back home doing exactly what we thought we would, which is hang out and watch football. How'd you like dinner, Clay? Very good. What's good, right? Very old school Italian. Old school Italian. Gotta make for sure to eat Italian. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I am dressed and ready to film before I'm doing anything else this morning. I haven't even had coffee because I'm gonna film three videos um, before I'm allowed to do anything else, which is including relaxing, caffeinating, or reading. Which, by the way, big carrot because I really wanna pick up the Starless Sea, but I'm not gonna procrastinate, hello, Matilda, because I'm dressed and my camera setup is ready to go and we are gonna film this morning. It's like 10.45. I woke up earlier. But then I started watching Chandler's video because she read books that I love and I had to watch the whole thing. So oopsie poopsie. But beside from that, I've been really on track to be productive. So I'm gonna go film right now. I've officially finished filming my three videos today. You can see the book aftermath of everything on the floor that I need to put away. Um, but yeah, I'm all set. I'm now gonna actually edit two of the videos and then I'm gonna be done 
from a video perspective for the rest of the day. The lighting was killing me. It kept going in and out. Um, but I'm actually really pleased with my final outfit that I ended up with filming. Hey, love a denim corduroy moment with a hair ribbon. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna start editing now and then I'm gonna finally have some coffee. And then I'm gonna watch football and do all of the reading. We're all lounging. Clay picked us up some bagels. And we're watching uh, football. And I finished filming, so win-win. Hi everyone, apologies for the lack of vlogging today. I have just been, um, well, I filmed a bunch, and then I edited a bunch, and then I was just kind of watching football and hanging out with Clay, but he's now working, um, and I am just sitting here with this one, little Miss Matilda, and I am gonna sit down and start reading for the day. Give you guys an update with how much I've read and done um, so far this weekend, I've read a total of 210 pages so far. I haven't read anything today, um, but I've read 60 pages of The Starless Sea and then 150 pages of Daisy Jones and the Six. Um, in regards to Starless Sea, I'm really liking it. I'm only 60 pages in, but I just get this feeling that this is a book I'm really gonna like. It's the style, it's the writing, it just is so beautiful and it's just drawn me in. I love lyrical writing. I love flowery writing. I love writing that is like extra, <laughs> like so extra. It doesn't even bother me always if it's like superfluously like extra because it's just beautiful. Like it's part of the experience. And this story, from what I can tell, is like a nestled story. So it's like a story within a story within a story. And our main character basically stumbles upon this book in the library and he brings it home and he starts reading it. And first he's like enjoying the stories, going along, and then he stumbles upon a chapter that is a moment from his own life. And now he's like, crap, I'm part of this narrative and he doesn't really know why or how. And he's like trying to figure it out. And part of this narrative is just like this magical world called the Starless Sea. And there are these people who are like the guardians of stories in this library and to protect things. So that's how far I am. And that's kind of what I've discovered about this book. But I just really am entranced by the writing. So I'm gonna sit here and read hopefully a large chunk more. I'm just honestly gonna have football on in the background and get a good chunk of this read. My goal is to read to page about 300, as always, to get about 500 pages read for the weekend. Um, but we shall see. I also just love the hardcover of this. It's so beautiful. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get to reading now. Just wanted to give you guys an update about my life, where I am, what's the happenings. We're also gonna try to take down some Christmas decorations today, but we will see if that happens. I don't wanna kill Christmas. It's so cozy. <laughs> All right, I've read 60 pages more of my book, which by the way, I'm loving. It kind of reminds me in some capacity of the, oh gosh, what's it called? It's not The Name of the Wind. Um, the Shadow of the Wind, which is another like book-centric mystery. They're not similar in the way that like, you know, it's the same story by any means. The book is like super whimsical, has like this mysterious, has this mystery at its center and it does center around a book because right now in The Starless Sea, our main character is kind of being pulled into this like book society of keepers and occults and and um, and swords and things. And we don't really know what's going on, neither does he, but his book that he found is important and he's like in the center, some sort of mystery. I love it so far. Also hoping there's some romance between him and this man he just met because they'd be perfect with each other. But anyway, I'm gonna take a quick break because I'm gonna make some popcorn for a snack and then I'm gonna get right to reading again. Just past the 200 page mark of my book and I will give you guys an update in a minute, but right now I'm going to heat up some dinner. Isn't that right, Matilda? I'm gonna heat up the soup from that I made on Friday. I'm gonna put rice in it for clay and I'm gonna do noodles, so. That's what we're gonna do right now. Dinner is all heated up. I made mine with noodles and Clay made his, well, I made Clay's with rice because he doesn't like ramen like some crazy person. What's so um, that's his and this is mine. We had a lot left over, so these are huge portions, but you know, it's supposed to be healthy-ish. Millie, get off of here. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? We started watching the Golden Globes and we're not gonna take down Christmas until next weekend, so. Mid-Jan it is, isn't that right, Clay? We're gonna let it ride. <laughs> I don't even know why we're watching the Golden Globes. We never watched the Golden Globes, but it just came on after football, so here we are. Clay started playing Call of Duty now instead of Madden, but we watched a few episodes of The Americans, and now um, Clay's playing Xbox. I'm about to sit down and read more of The Starless Sea, which I am really liking. 
Again, I read about two. Well, I read a little over 200 pages um, before we broke for the evening to watch some TV. Matilda's here. She wants to go underneath the blankets. Um, but so I'm going to sit down now and try to read another 100 pages to get to page 300, which I don't think will be a problem. I have quite a good chunk of the evening left tonight. So I'm going to get I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to reading and I'll keep you guys posted. I really feel like the best comparison I have for this book is if you've read The Name of the Wind. No. What is that book called? <laughs> I keep wanting to call it The Name of the Wind. The Shadow of the Wind. I think you would really like this book as well. But time to read. Hi friends, wanted to do a reading check-in because I'm making really good progress on the Starless Sea and I'm really liking this book. I didn't realize going into it kind of how the story would be structured, but I'm loving it so much. I mean, obviously we have our main story, which is about Zachary who finds this book and he's kind of, you know, trying to figure out this magical world and he's kind of in this he's kind of been inducted into this like secret society kind of thing but along the way and in between his chapters you also encounter these beautiful little stories about people and kind of how their lives are touched by magic or by stories or something and you just get this feeling that like all these little vignettes are connected to this larger narrative in some way that you just can't quite figure out yet and to be fair, at the beginning of the book, Zachary kind of reads this story that he's in and is like, oh, it's a story about nestled tales, like someone's telling a tale to someone else, blah, 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 blah. And it's just so lovely and like different imagery images are kind of called back to this like moonless night, fate and time and the Owl King, and, like all these different beautiful pieces of imagery and metaphor are like woven in like different tales and stories in different ways and I'm just really liking it. It's so pretty. Like this is the kind of a, a book aesthetic that I love every time. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep sitting here reading but I wanted to give you guys a check in to let you know like more thoughts, more sentiment. Um, and it's mostly that it's grade A. Really liking this book. I'm doing a great job 2020. I've only read books I've really liked so far, so what can I say? Hi everyone, it's Reagan, and welcome to the end of the vlog. The next day, I just wanted to quick, well, a few days later actually, if I'm being fully transparent, it's like Wednesday. <laughs> but I wanted to check in and go over everything that I was able to read this past weekend. So first and foremost, I believe I read or, and listened, read slash listened to the last 150 pages of Daisy Jones and the Six. I loved this audiobook experience. It's so good. In fact, I feel like the audiobook experience um, like was additive. Like I don't know if I'd like it as much if I didn't listen to it. So that was such a lovely like way to start the weekend. And honestly, I have just fallen in love with audiobooks. I found that they just like seamlessly fit in parts of my life where I now could be reading during times I didn't even realize I could be reading. And they're also really nice for commutes. I usually read like read on my phone but sometimes you're just really tired in the morning and sitting there staring out in the space listening to an audiobook is just more pleasant so honestly audiobooks win 2020 might be the year of audiobooks for me i might listen to a lot of them because i've already started another one so they're great uh and then from there i of course picked up the starless sea by aaron morgenstern and i did get to page 300 not quite as far as i wanted to i didn't hit the 500 page mark read for this weekend but in terms of the starless sea this feels like a favorite for me um i really love it like this is a book designed for me to love it has beautiful writing it has these like whimsical stories of all these people and places it's like mysterious and atmospheric and there's all this like whimsy and bizarreness and everything about that is things I love. Like I just flowery, like that sort of scenario is just for me. So I'm really liking it. So all in all, I'd say very good reading weekend. Didn't read as much as I wanted, but everything I did read loved top notch. So I'd say that is the point and why I deem it a success. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon with another one soon. Goodbye.